HoneyBook's workflows allow you to automate actions in your project's lifecycle, automatically sending out emails or certain file types at particular times, or when your clients take certain steps. So you can set stuff up now and let workflows do the rest. Once created, workflows can be set in motion in two ways. Manually, by applying them to projects, or automatically, when a new contact form inquiry comes in. Before creating a workflow, let's go over the elements of workflows that you'll want to either have in place or understand the function of. First, your templates. Workflows can utilize email, brochure, and questionnaire templates in their actions, so double check that those are ready to roll. Now, a quick overview of how workflows work. Each workflow will contain one or more steps, with each step consisting of an action, the thing that happens in the step, a trigger, the event that causes the action to happen, and the amount of time between the trigger and the action. A workflow can contain as many steps as you'd like. And remember, a workflow can only be set in motion in two ways, when it's manually applied to a project or automatically via a contact form inquiry. Now, let's create our example workflow. In this example, we'll create a workflow that will automatically begin when someone submits an inquiry via your contact form. Select which action you'd like to add to the process first. We'll start by sending a brochure. When sending a file in a workflow step, first, select the file template you'd like to send. Then, choose the email template you'd like to accompany that file. Remember that all these templates are being pulled from your master template tool we checked out earlier, so you can always add or edit templates there. Now, choose when you'd like this action, the brochure and email being sent, to occur, and what trigger makes it happen. We have a wide range of triggers to choose from. For example, you can have actions happen a set amount of time after a step is taken or payments are made on files, after projects have been moved to the completed stage, or before or after the project date. But for our example, a workflow that activates automatically when an inquiry comes in, we'll select after the workflow is activated as our trigger. That means as soon as the workflow is manually or automatically applied to a project, the countdown to the first action will begin. Or, as we'll set up here, you can choose zero days between the trigger and the action, which will cause our brochure and email to be sent immediately upon an inquiry being received. Finally, choose whether you'd like this action to trigger automatically, or if you'd like to approve the file and message before it sends. If you'd rather approve, you'll see a task appear in the task list for the relevant project, due on the date that the email and file are scheduled to send. If that's all your workflow needs, great! Workflows can be as simple as one step, but you can add additional steps by clicking the plus button and repeating the process. Right now, we'll add an email, set it to go out a week after the previous step is completed, and set it to be approved before it goes out. Let's finish with a step creating a task, which is a great way to remind yourself to take any steps that aren't specifically addressed in your workflow. When you're ready, click Save. Now, to make sure that this workflow is activated by a contact form inquiry, head back to the Workflow dashboard and click the Automate via Contact Form dropdown next to the workflow. You can choose to have this workflow activate only for certain project types, or set it as the default for all contact form inquiries. And remember, if you don't need a workflow to auto-respond to contact form inquiries, you can always manually apply it to a project as well.